What's good team? Welcome to another Small James coding tutorial where today we're actually not going to be talking so much about coding specifically, but instead this image right here where we can see four different UI layouts that have been generated for us based on this text prompt that I have passed to the AI. Now this particular AI is produced by Midjourney, this company just here, and if you want to do what I've done you can join the beta and join the Discord server, which I am already in. So here we're in the Discord server, and essentially what you can do is just type imagine into the chat and then pass a prompt. So these are the prompts that I just passed in right here with some flags for version and stylizing. And you can generate AI images of just about whatever you want. Now, these images right here are extremely significant for web development, UI, UX design, and front-end development, in addition to a myriad of other things. But to focus specifically on the UI design, this tool is essentially going to become my best friend as someone who dabbles in web development, and it took a total of a minute to generate these unique designs. And so today we're going to look at how we can use this particular tool to generate your own images if you're a front-end developer and what you might want to do with this if you're a UI UX designer, how you can incorporate this into your workflow. So as I mentioned just here, I generated these images based off this prompt and so now I'm going to generate a new one for a light pastel colored website about books or we can even be even better, selling books. We'll type UI, UX, UI slash UX, give it all the prompts it needs, maybe Figma, uh, layouts, uh, maybe some hyper-realistic design. Uh, we could suggest some colors, or actually we could just leave it to the website. And now we're going to say dash dash version 4 dash dash stylize 500. This can be in a spectrum of 0 to 1000. And now that is going to load this UI for us. And this is an absolutely phenomenal tool for a front-end developer because I personally do not have the skills to go out and generate these amazing looking UIs. This is way outside of my field of comfort, but now just looking at these, I have the option to upscale any particular number. So I could upscale one, two, three, or four, or I could generate additional versions based off of one that I like. Let's say I liked you know, number four, I could upscale number four or and get a high resolution image of number four alone, or I could generate new versions based off that as a starting point. And consequently, I may no longer have to interact with a UI designer because this will do 90% of the work for me. From here, it's actually pretty easy to go and code a lot of these layouts and these elements, and it takes away the difficult task of figuring out what layout looks beautiful because this AI has just generated it specifically for us. So here we can see another example of these book selling websites I was talking about. Absolutely beautiful layouts generated based off the prompts that we pass to the AI. And once again, I could upscale one of these images. Let's say I really liked number one. I can click upscale one that will create this as a job. And once that job is complete, we can see that we have the upscaled version of this image. And once again, I could just go ahead and code this, even potentially crop out some of the assets and incorporate them directly into my site. So this tool is going to be absolutely essential for every web developer on the planet to at least be familiar with. It's going to be great for like logos, icons, graphics, any kind of graphic design. Now, the counterpart to this particular story is that it does not make these graphic design or UI UX designs redundant at all. It just means that it is going to be essential, at least in my opinion, for these professions to pick this up as another tool in their utility belt. If we look at this particular example, if I were to develop this as a website, you know, it's not going to be immediately straightforward for me to take these assets out of this particular image and turn them into things that I could actually use in my site. And an example might be, you know, perhaps the skill specializ specialization of a UI UX designer might tend to lean a little bit more towards Photoshop now that this AI tool can generate a lot of the groundwork for us and then we can just build off that. Ultimately, what this technology means for all of us is that we can just start building ideas much faster. You can get 90% of the way there. For me, this is 90% of the design work done. I can just take the last 10%, go build it out into a website, and it looks beautiful today. You know, we can customize the prompts, generate all sorts of cool imagery. And the last thing that's worth mentioning for this particular tool is that if we wanted to generate a lot more images based off this particular prompt, 
what I could do is actually save this image to my local device, open up my browser and come to mgur.com. Once here we can create a new post, choose the photo or file that we have just downloaded and have this save as an asset. Once it's saved, we can copy the image address, come back into the Discord, and we can once again type in the imagine prompt and now pass in that URL so it will generate images based off what we had before. And just while we're looking at it, here's an example of some amazing logos that you can generate. And now I could type in no text, 4K, high res, and let's say we wanted uh, multiple multiple layouts just like that and then we'll say dash dash v4 and let's just style as a thousand we're going to send that through have that job run and hopefully generate some additional images that i could then use as you know extra layouts on my page if i was looking for inspiration or whatever that might be so here we can see some additional imagery was generated it's not necessarily what we were looking for and this is again one of the faults and why it won't mean complete redundancy of any of the roles that i've talked about in this video However, these are still absolutely beautiful visual imagery assets that we could incorporate into our website. Or once again, you know, if we had those Photoshop skills, we could actually turn them into layouts that we put in the back of our websites. But anyway, that's pretty much it. This is a tool that you absolutely need to build into your workflow. The capabilities are totally profound. It'll help you start building websites infinitely faster today, especially if you struggle with, you know, coming up with things like a good color scheme or effective layouts. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. Super appreciate it. And leave your thoughts and your comments down below in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.